Welcome, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to a casted game of Age of Empires 3. And we're here back with game number two in this best of five series between Lionheart and Oliviza. And this is part of the Beat the Boss tournament. So if you want to catch the uh, this live, this tournament, I'll leave a link to Caverna TV's YouTube channel down in the description. As uh, he is the one hosting this one live. So uh, go, go give him a follow. And... Uh, Let's introduce players because spawning up in the north here, we got Lionheart, and he's going to be playing as the Swedes Yo, today. Hello. A civilization that he absolutely loves, that I absolutely love. So, very glad to be here casting this one today because I'm a bit of a Swede main. Just, just a little bit. But uh, his opponent spawning in on the south is Oliviza in the color blue, and he's going to be playing as the Indians today. Uh, a matchup that I, I used to play quite a bit. Swedes okay. up against India, and it, it's it's a bit of a tough one for the, the Swedes yeah. here. Mainly because of the, especially in age three, uh, it, it's very difficult for Swedes to deal with the uh, the cannon elephants, siege elephants. It's uh, it's very difficult for them, like just getting getting any sort of falconets up, up against the, the Indians is a little bit of a struggle. But uh, apart okay. from that, the matchup, it's relatively even, so we'll have to see how it goes here for Lionheart. Both civilization sitting at, at a pretty good skill level at the moment in terms of balance. Looks like Lionheart's going to be picking himself up a nice treasure here. Nice 95 XP. Going to be very happy about that one. So we do have House of Oldenburg and House of... I have no clue how to even pronounce that one there. But those are the two houses. No House of Vaza on this map. Which is a uh, which is a house that lots of Sweden Swedish players like uh, they they like that house. It, it gives them good bonuses for the Swedes. Mainly to to do with their torps, which that house can spawn on this map, but not happen today. Oliviza gonna be picking up a treasure of his own here. We'll see what cards have come in for players. I would assume it's gonna be the uh, the three settlers. Yeah, there it is. Three settlers coming in for Lionheart. And then also distributivism coming in for Oliviza. So very standard stuff there. Nothing nothing out of the ordinary. You can take a look at the decks. Only the one age card in here for Oliviza. So not looking to go for any other uh any other age one cards. And we actually see his deck is actually named versus Sweden. So, you know, he's come into this prepared. He's come into this best of five very much prepared. Uh, Lionheart is known well, he, he's not exactly known for Swedes, but he, he plays quite a bit of it, so. It, it, it's to be expected that he would pull this out at some point in this best of five. So it's going to be the Carni Marta coming through here from uh, from Oliviza. So not going to be going for any sort of forward agrofort. Just going to be going with this uh, with the wonder in the base here. Huh? Does also look like he's going to be be able to pick up a nice ninety coin treasure right there. Both players getting some good treasures this game. Looks like Lionheart's going to be looking to grab himself 100 XP right there. Question is, is he going to be able to, to kill this guy in time? He should be able to. A lot of damage being put onto his Explorer. Now have a look at that. Oh, Shake 2020 AoE Explorer. For those that, that, that are unaware, Shake is a, a member of the AoE 3 community. And uh, he, he's known for his Swedes. Definitely known for them. It's, it's sort of his thing. Sweet is his thing. So I like this little reference here from Lionheart's Explorer. Does look like now Lionheart's going to be moving out for those torps. Age up comes through for Oliviza first. Lionheart should be up very, very shortly. He went with the naturalist. They're so going to be getting the two villagers as well as the two cows with this age up. The Lionheart not deciding to go for a market here in transition. Something that we do typically see Swedish players look to do. Uh, usually a market. You can grab hunting dogs as well as uh, the uh, gang saw upgrade. But not going to be the case this time. Lionheart just wanting to get out these early torps. He's already got a few out here. Let's have a look. See what he's sending. He's sending in the dominations. Uh, or the minions card. I always call it dominations, but I, I know that's wrong. It's dominions. Uh, so going to be delivering himself with the four top wagons right there and then following that up with the wood. So very standard stuff here. Going to be opening up with some Corollians, of course, as well. On the other side, Oliviza. He's looking to go into Rajputs. Hello. Interesting. I mean, I guess it makes sense, right? 
because you're up against uh, you're up against torps, and these guys have some decent siege damage. But this is certainly not what I was expecting. I mean, usually we see sepoy coming out from from Indian players. It's, it's just like a general good unit. Uh, like they don't they don't do the best up against Corolians, but if you add in a couple of uh, the these dudes right here, the Gurkha, then they're gonna be absolutely fine. But Rajput's coming out from Olivi Oliviza. Certainly a uh, an interesting decision. We're gonna have to see how it does for him because we see Lionheart. He's already here with the five Corolians. We're looking to take out the uh, the elephant right here. Another card does come in here for Ollie. Let's see what he's going to send. I think for the time being, just going to be retreating back here. Lionheart's keeping his Corollians nearby. Four Gurkha are on the way. We see more and more Corollians coming through from Lionheart. Both players stacking up a shipment. There we go. Oh, Lionheart not sending his yet, but Olive, Olive, uh, Ollie is going to be sending uh, Diplomatic Intrigue. Now looking to go into that, uh, that export. Very typical right there. It does look like the Rajputs are going to be able to find a nice vil kill right there. Definitely, uh, definitely nice to get that kill nice and early in the game. Rajputs and Gurkha will be pushing away those Sepoy. Lionheart going to be sending in Ironworks. Explorer manages to stay alive right there on 18 HP. Another villager may look to get picked off here. Gurkha need one more shot on that villager. That's going to be going down right there. Lionheart has already lost quite a few villagers this game. Down by four already. you got to remember he does have the torps. They, they do account for quite a bit. But losing two villagers at this point in time, that need to feel a little bit rough. But I mean, in the grand scheme of things, not a huge deal for Sweden. Now, Lionheart's looking to get the leather cannons out. Double barracks down. Looking to put on a lot of pressure here in the, the commerce age. Let's see how many uh, how many leather cannons he looks to grab. I think he's only going to be able to get the one out. But it's only going to be the one. Doesn't have any shipment yet ready for... I mean, he could have gone for the foundry wagon and the, the leather cannon. But uh, not going to be the case. Decides to build the artillery foundry first. So, I mean, maybe at this point you could look to send in two leather cannons. Yeah, that, that is exactly what it's going to be right there. But Olive's done a good job so far, just cleaning up a few of the torps here and there. A couple of villagers. Got to be feeling pretty happy about what's uh, what's gone on so far. He also got the Kani Mata back at home, buffing up all of his villagers. Sepoy coming out from Olive's now. Fortunately, caught out of position here. Going to get cleaned up by the Corolian and the Leather Cannon. Rajputs still going to be sieging down these torps a little bit. Gathering up some treasures behind this. Unfortunately... Losing a uh, an explorer right there, Surtis, the poor guy. Fortunately, there sitting on the floor. Does need to gather up that treasure. Lionheart really looking to mass up the Corollians here, up to twenty six. And he got the the one leather cannon, but two more does come in from the shipment. So he's really starting to build up the mass. He's up to a decent number of of torps. He's up to fifteen. Still can build another five somewhere on the map. This is a, a great map for Sweden. Just have a look at all of the uh, the gold mines available to him. All over the map. Olivia's at back at home. Looking to mass up some uh, some Azaps. Or Azaps. Azap. Azaps. As well as some Seaport and Gurkha. It looks like Lionheart for the time being. Isn't looking to push out. Just looking to fend off his torps. Expand out a little bit more. We see he's up to 16. Hello? Build a couple more here and there. Secret Raj put hiding behind the tree right there. Just guarding up that, that gold mine. The, the tin mine as it is there. Treasure's being taken now for line as well. Just trying to make use of his army while it does sit about. Not doing too much. Ollie now looking to age up here. Maybe going with the, uh, the calm... calm Carmina Gates. I don't think that's how you say it, but that's what I'm going to be going with here. But this could be a perfect opportunity for Lion to push into the base. There's any a time. Now is definitely the time. Mid A job is the perfect opportunity to push into the base. 
Brodian's going to be heading towards the base. This could be perfect timing here for Lion. We got some reinforcements coming in, hopefully. Let's have a look. Oh, it looks like he's going to be going towards the Aegis as well. Good leather the cannon shots onto the army right there. Both explorers. Oh, well, one of them's down. Villager also gets picked up. Corodians. Looks like they're going to be falling back for the time bit for the time being. Lionheart going to be grabbing his age up. Going to be the fast age up right there. So looking to uh, to match the age up timing here from Ollie. Should be able to get his upgrades in relatively quickly. And should be able to should be able to put on some good pressure. But you got to you got to remember, Ollie has this the two siege elephants. And that could be the game changer right here. This, this is what lots of Swedish players struggle against. Because there's not a lot you can do against them. Coronians, sure. If they if they get up nice and close, they can they can take out Siege Elephant. But apart from that, it's uh, it's pretty difficult. So I'm sure Ollie's gonna have that in mind. Doesn't have a shipment quite yet to send. Lionheart's still looking to add even more leather cannons in. I have to see what he looks to send upon the age up. Well, he, he's in the next stage. He doesn't have a shipment yet, though. So maybe you grab the range card. Or maybe maybe just go going with the two falconets is. Uh, I mean, it's, I don't know if it's a safe option or because look, we do see there the two siege elephants is coming in from Ollie. So I feel like the two falconets coming out from Lionheart is going to be. Not the best of choices unless he has something to try and deal with. Yeah, so not going to be sending the two Falks. Going to be sending the, the light gun and the light gun carriages instead. So that reduces the build time for leather cannons and also upgrades them to infantry guns. So they're going to be they're going to be a lot better than just your regular old leather cannon. But we're still going to have siege elephants out from Ollie. So they're still going to be relative. Oh, he's changed it. He cancels it. And instead sends the gold. Interesting. I'm not going to be committing to it. I mean, I guess it's... I'm not sure exactly how, how he knows about it. It's, oh, oh, okay, it gets cancelled again. He, he's so unsure what he wants. Going to be sending the eight Gurkha this time. I mean, yeah, you don't need the Siege Elephants really that much if you're up against leather cannons or infantry guns as they are now. But we see there much more health, much more damage. And Ollie's just looking to really mass up these Gurkha. He's got more in the queue. Eight coming from the, the shipment as well. And Lionheart at the moment, he's max torps. Up to 26 villagers. Compared to the 41 of Ollie. So Ollie's certainly ahead when it comes to the, the villagers. But Lionheart's economy is certainly booming behind this with all the torps. But lots of army coming through from Ollie. Also sending in the British company. Getting those red coats in. Going to be able to help in this fight. Lionheart looking to try and catch Ollie off guard here. The one Mahout in here. I need to be careful up against this army of Corolian. The legend gets picked off. Ollie. He's got two armies here. Relatively big in size. He could look to try and pounce on this army. Lionheart at the moment. He's got more leather cannons. More Corolians on the way. He's got a decent force. He's up to... 47 Corolians and 6 leather cannons as well as an explorer. Another villager gets picked off there for Lion. No houses looking to get picked up this game. And Lionheart's looking to catch the army of Ollie off guard here. Ollie's not bringing the other army over to save this one. I think Ollie thinks this is safe, but it's not. Lionheart's going to be able to absolutely clean this up. Leather Cannon's getting some huge shots off. I think I think they may have all missed. I, I think they may have all missed. And now Coronian Charge going to be coming in, giving the snare onto the army. Leather Cannon's taking some good shots here onto the mass. Lionheart losing barely any army right there, but Ollie's going to be putting the pressure on with his army. But the question is, how much value is he going to be able to find? The Mahu is going to get cleaned up here by the a few Coronians. Barely any mass gone here. Ollie's trying to pick off the, a, a couple uh, a couple torps here or there, but I don't think it's going to be enough. He lost so much army back then. And now Lionheart's got the Jaegers on the way. Oh yeah, 10 Jaegers. They're on the way. That's going to be that's gonna be a big game changer right here. They're going to be able to do well up against absolutely everything that uh, Ollie's got here. 
It's going to be tough for him. Ollie's looking to go into the second town center now, trying to just find that economic lead uh, with when it comes to villagers and try and just wait it out to the later stages of the game where Torps are starting to run out of mines as these are all tin mines. So they've got not as much... Uh, not as much coin as a as it like a gold mine would or a a silver mine. So I think Ollie is just trying to wait it out till all of the torps are exhausted. Gold. It's gonna be a while though. But he's just trying to extend that lead. But he's got big issues right now. We see Jaegers back at the base with a few Corollians. Should be able to hold up against this. And then in the base, we've got seven leather cannons, 52 Corollians taking down the town center here. Ollie's got some big, big issues right now. You see, back at the base of Lion, he's able to hold on here with a few Jaegers. He's got more reinforcements coming through. Arsenal is up for Lionheart as well. Going to be grabbing a few of his upgrades. The improved range coming through. Snap lock. Lionheart's looking in a good position right now. And I mean, the, the, the only thing he's got to worry about here is the Mahu, but it's 159 HP. And it does get taken out. More reinforcements coming through. Explorer gets taken out. And with that, these Jaegers should be able to clean this up. But back in the base of Ollie. The Wonders are being taken out. The Carney Master are going to be the first Wonder to get taken out. Not going to be able to be rebuilt here. That's lost for the whole game there. You're not going to be able to get any more boosted villagers right there. Snapcock comes in. And we see here the Gurkha. They don't stand much of a chance. We took all 10 Jaegers alive here from Lionheart. And that's going to be able to clean this up without a doubt. I mean, the, the stats on the Aegis are just absolutely crazy. 40% range resist, 250 HP. The next one that looks to get taken out by the cannons. Corollians, just absolute building destroyers right here. And Lionheart's actually going to be going for a second TC. A third TC, in fact. Have a look at this. we got TCs going up everywhere for Lion at the moment. It's going to be pushing out with the, with the Jaegers as well. Siege Elephants are finally here for Ollie. I feel like he needed these earlier. If he if he had this and kept his army alive, I think he would have been in a much better position to try and take out these leather cannons and then just mass up Gurkha to, to deal with the, the Corollians. So Gurkha is going to be coming back. Still a good mass of Gurkha here, but they just don't stand much of a chance up against Jaegers. And then, and then you've got a mass like this wiping out your base. It's, it certainly does feel rough. Lionheart still only at 27 villagers. In fact, he's just stopped villager production entirely. Which, I mean, at this point, I guess you just want to mass up units. Probably, probably still good to make a villager here, here or there, though. But uh, not the approach Lionheart's going to be going for. Going to be sending... There we go. More villagers in the queue. Two Falconets going to be coming through now as well. Looking to try and uh, to try and deal with the Gurkha a little bit more effectively. But you've got to remember, you do have the Siege Elephants here. But at this point, Lionheart can just look to try and... Finish, finish off this little base over here. We see the score lead really starting to expand now for, for Lionheart. It's up to two TCs. Explorer gets taken down once again. Lionheart's down on top, though, to be fair. Like, his economy at the moment isn't the highest. I've got to say, maybe he is still in this. If you can somehow deal with this army... He's certainly still in this. Like 55 economy versus the only 28 from Lionheart. And Lionheart only has a he only has 10 pops. Because of the the, the, the other 10 pop oh, the other 20 pop is uh the two town centers. He's got nine torps. If Oli can deal with this army here, he's definitely still in this. But the question is, can he deal with the army? Because this is one big army right here. And he's also got, got to deal with the two Falconets and the six Jaegers back at home. And these are these are well upgraded units. We see Lionheart at the moment. He's got a snap block. He's got another shipment he can send as well. Maybe platoon fire could be could be the, the way to go here. With, you know, with the large mass of Corollians you got. Just want to get the final few upgrades through. But Ollie at the moment, he's struggling. He's sending through the, the seven Gurkha now. You see here, the siege cannons. Can't even one shot these uh, infantry guns. Lionheart. Going in with a charge, trying to get us around onto the siege elephants. While well, the infantry guns deal with the sepoy back up, back over here. Does look like the Corollians will be able to surround the siege elephants. They're going to be going down. I don't see much way that Olivier is going to be able to hold this. His economy is looking good, but unfortunately, he just can't, can't get the mass. He doesn't have the infrastructure. He's dropping down another barracks over here. He's got three up, but... 
it's impossible to get units out of here alive. And now Lionheart's going to start to rebuild up his torp. His torps. More reinforcements coming through. More villagers on the way for Lionheart. It's up to 30. We see more villagers getting picked off here as well. Unfortunately for Ollie, things were looking promising, but GG is called. Lionheart going to be taking game number two here in this best of five. If you did enjoy this, please do feel free to leave a like. Maybe even consider subscribing, and I'll catch you guys for game number three.